Welcome to this week's The Choice Show. And this week, well, I decided, Z and I decided to, to go where it was going to be warm. Yeah, you left me home in Illinois. Well, yeah, it was freezing cold, snow and everything. Exactly. We said, hey, and you know, John and, and Brian, his, his ranch manager said, hey, why don't you guys come on down? And it's really cool. He's, he's got this low fenced ranch, like in the middle of all of these big ranches. And yeah. well, it's pretty sweet what they're doing. Nice. Well, yes. this week's lucky logo is True Glow. True so Glow. When brightness counts, count on True Glow. It's like this little advertising man here. Ah! Anyways, if you watch and look for the True Glow logo, that was very hard to say, True Glow logo. Um, we'll tell you what to do with it at the end of the show. That's right. There you go. So you're going to head to Texas? We're taking the 10 points. Okay. And we're going to show those guys what they can do. All righty. In Texas. In to the Texas mild, we go. calm winter weather. <laughs> well, we left home with snow. It was minus zero. Um, and we thought, well, we're Z and I are so pumped, we're going to Texas. Gonna be warm, dry. Next time when everyone's saying, man, we wish we were going, it's going to be warm, and we better not, like, milk it like you and I did. <laughs> we're here with Dr. John, and he's, he's invited us down here to Texas. Yesterday, it snowed, sleeted, rained, and um, made everything pretty slick. We, got, we drove in. And now today, this morning, it just seems beautiful. Probably overdressed, but we're ready. We're gonna get in there. And Brian, he's actually the, the game warden here for the, for the county, and he's guiding us. How cool is that? Well, we're here with Brian. Brian, you're, you're the game warden for Shackleford County, right? That's correct. And this, this county's like, people can't relate how big this county is. Well, it's roughly 30 by 30, so it's like 900 square miles. 900 square miles. You, you, you don't cover that, like, with your little ATV? <laughs> no. You know, when John invited us down, he said, you know, hey, listen, I, I want you to come down and you bring your cameras or not it doesn't matter i just I, I like what you guys are doing and and what a what a great guy i mean this guy and man is he tall holy cow he is definitely the proof that tex whatever you do in texas is going to be bigger than every every other place and and it's living proof that yes it is Can't figure it. We go to Texas where you think it's going to be warm and dry. You thought no. you were going to rub it in my face. I, yeah, we did. We honestly thought work. while you're freezing up in Illinois, we're going to be like loving it. Nah, no. I think it's following Z. It might be. By the end of the show, you may agree on that one. Is. But when we come back, will it stop snowing maybe? Yes, it's going to. Okay, yeah, we hope. Texas. We'll see. 
We got in this blind and we didn't think it was gonna work. Welcome back to The Choice. Now we're gonna head back down to Texas to see if it stops snowing. That's it, and it does. And I'm gonna 10 it point does? something. 10 point something? 10 point something. Something? Something. Hopefully it's a deer. Something. Okay, we'll see. Day number two, down here in Texas. We're getting the boots on. The snow is pretty much melted. We are in like the, the biggest toy hauler I've ever seen in, in my life. This camper thing is huge. Brian, Z and I are heading up to a different stand and uh, we're gonna see what's happening. I mean, what was cool is, you know, John's like, hey, all I ask is that you shoot mature animals. Never in my day did I think that we would have a buck like we saw. You're talking about an animal that's lived in the wild for all these years, have avoided the hunters, have avoided the predators, have avoided all these situations and survived. is simple <laughs> and we chose our 10-point crossbows and I'm telling you what Brian who's the local game warden down there once he saw it he saw how effective it was and and pretty much how how easy he's like oh this is a great management tool I mean I could get a lot of my local game wardens who are managing other ranches and they don't really bow hunt they could be in these blinds and shooting you know taking out the does and taking out the management deer that they need to to have a successful, you know, operation with the crossbow. Oh, baby, we got him. I didn't think, we was, I didn't think this was going to I did either. I did not think so. You're a game warden. You've seen all kinds of stuff. Is this cool? That was awesome. I've never seen a crossbow kill before. I mean, actually. Yeah. I've seen it on TV. Yeah, yeah. Never seen one, actually. That was cool. Well, while everyone's back home freezing in, in about a foot and a half of snow, Z and I headed down to Texas with John and Brian and Charles, and we can't thank them enough. They invited us down here. We brought our 10-point crossbows, our pro slider, and believe it or not, they said they had this one buck. He's really white. Look at the color. Look how white his face is. They said he's on the downside, but he'd be a great buck to take out of the herd. Well, we're the wrong guys to tell that to. We just gave him a one-way ticket back to freezing Illinois. Wow, that was an old buck. Old was not, I mean, you talk about a trophy. There's a trophy. They, they knew, you know, Brian, they have pictures of them and everything for years. Yep. And, and I mean, that, that's an Even honor just to have an color, animal like that. The color of him was just looked old. Yeah. He was actually starting to look a little bit like Z, if you, you know what I mean? That's not that nice. gray hair. In fact, don't go anywhere when we come back. We can see Z in front of the camera instead of behind the camera. Mm. Yeah. The big Z turn. Welcome back to the choice. And now? It's Z's turn. And what's right. really cool is they took these cabs of these old semi trucks. Yeah. And they used them as ground blinds. And they're insulated, they're huge. It's a pretty cool idea when Were you Were you guys about like it. in the sleeping compartment, laying down sleeping until something came out? No, but it would have been cool. Good thought. Yeah. Maybe we have to think about that for next time. Yeah, let's just get into Z's, huh? Hmm. Eight come in. The 
ended up chasing the does away while we were deciding what to do. We're back tonight. We're going to try to put, put, put a herd on one of those. It's January 1st, 2010, and uh, it's about 55 degrees outside. <laughs> You know, crossbow hunting is becoming more and more popular every year. 30 years ago, only two states in the United States allowed crossbow hunting, and that was Arkansas and Ohio. Now, we've got over 20 states and seven provinces in Canada that allow crossbow hunting. And states like Michigan are actually getting more lax in their restrictions on crossbow usage. For example, they went from 65 to 50 years old and had a, a, a pile of people start hunting again that weren't hunting because they were getting older. Now they've actually gone to a 12 year old restriction. That way we can get the youth involved. Get out there, check your local state laws and regulations and see what's available for crossbow hunting in your area and try it. If it's not available, talk to your local legislation and your local DNR offices, see if you can get it involved. Because it's just one more way for you to cure your severe whitetail disorders. It's been about an hour since we shot that buck. He's laying right there. We sat in there and talked and kind of waited for a pig to come in. Nothing showed. Let's go get him. Oh, look how tall he is. Oh. Yeah. That's that buck we've been looking at. Yep, that's the one we saw yesterday. He went about 50 yards. Beautiful. Perfect got eight. That gorgeous, look at that gorgeous dark crown. Yeah. Oh, man. What a great Texas trip. Thanks again, John. Oh, you wow, that congratulations, Z. Z. That was awesome. You know, now Z's going to be heading from Texas. He's actually going to go meet with Gary, and they're going to go to Iowa. Yeah. Yeah. Going to Iowa now? How, how come I was going home and I didn't hunt? I didn't what figure, do you mean you didn't hunt? You shot a buck in the first segment. I know, but Z's going to Iowa. So how, come I, how come you didn't let me go to Iowa? Because you need to come home and shovel my driveway. Welcome, Welcome back. back to The Choice. Yep. Now, Z, you remember if Vicki mentioned it, I think she touched on it, that the weather's following Z? Yeah, it is. Here's proof in the pudding, because they've got they've to shovel through snow just to get to where they want to hunt. Watch what happens. Oh, my gosh. Whew. I had drawn an Iowa muzzleloader deer tag, and when Gary and I left the office, the further west we drove, the colder it got and the more snow we were hitting. 
the temperature was zero when we left here, and when we got there, it was, it was about 10, 15 below zero. We hunted in that all week long, and every buck we saw had shed at least one side of his rack, and most of them had shed both sides. That was the tone for this whole trip. It's our last day here in Iowa with Aaron Volkmar, Tales of the Hunt. The deer are feeding up through this low, low spot here in this cornfield, going to standing corn behind us. This blind was actually set about probably 50 years ago. Today we came in and we moved a couple boards, put a sheet up to block this terrible wind. Hopefully we'll have a hundred yard shot as they pass us going to the standing corn. It's the last day of season here in Iowa, so basically this is what we have left. sat here all night and this wind's just whipping us right in the face. There was a good buck seen here a couple times. We waited till the sun's going down, it's getting dark. We had a couple does come streaming by. The first ones took off running, we couldn't stop them. The second group come, had a nice doe in the back. I think we shot her high in the shoulder. She's down right where she got hit. We're gonna go into the hush program. Back straps for a family that needs it. This is this is what Gary and I were looking through all evening. The wind was out of the southwest and it's it's very cold. We were waiting on a nice buck, but all we saw was a half rack on the next farm over. So let's go get my dough. Gary and I have been here for five days. Been bitterly cold, a lot of wind chill. We've been waiting on bucks all week. We saw some half racks and. Uh, a couple of bucks that have completely shed off. And this is the last evening, so we decided to shoot a nice, healthy doe if we got an opportunity. And we uh, decided to harvest her for the hush program. This mature doe will help put a lot of tasty meals on some plates of some less fortunate people. Hey Z, good job on that doe with the hush program in Iowa. Absolutely. That was awesome. It was cool. You know, and, and it, we just proved that that weather was following you because when I went home, it was warm and sunny and... I think all the hunts that we went on with Z, I think, end up snowing or raining on us. He's got that cloud. Hmm. hmm. Anyways, if you happen to see the True Glow Lucky logo, which was True Glow, True obviously. Glow. Yeah, that was wow. good. Anyways, you need to log on to thechoicetv.com, click on the Lucky Logo button, fill out some information, and someone is going to win some great stuff from True Glow and some other people. That's it. And next week, guess what? What? Where are we going? New fee. New fee. The new fee slam with Bob Effort, Effort's hunting. Yep, Lonnie and, and Bucky. That island, folks, is unbelievable. We're talking caribou, moose, and black bear, so you don't want to miss next week's show. That's right. So we want to thank you for making your choice. The choice. We'll see you next week.